All right, here we go. Time for some uh, This Week in Survivor History trivia. And we are back here with the trivia master, Jordan Kalish. Jordan, how are you? Uh, I'm great, Rob. And if you're watching on video, you're, you wouldn't be surprised to find out that I am uh, mesmerized by uh, your shirt right now. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jordan. Hypnotized. Hypnotized. Okay. I don't know what to think. All right. There's well, so many shapes. There's triangles. Yep. I, 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 like what's, flashes, so, you know. I like I like what's going on with the shirt. Okay. All right. And here with us, very excited to have back with us here in season 46 of podcasting. We kicked off this season with a bang, and now she's back. It's Franny Marin. Franny, how are you? I am great. I'm also a little thrown off by the shirt. Is I wonder if it's like a tactic. Are you trying Maybe. to confuse an alarm? Maybe. <laughs> Franny, we're going to get started. Uh, it, this is your chance to do your speed run. Uh, 100 survivors, go. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know if I could do that. First and last names. That's where I would struggle. Mm -hmm. Some of the last names escape me. Have yeah. you tried this? Rob? I have not. I have not. Okay. But it feels like your wheelhouse. Feels like maybe you should. I don't know about a speed run of anything is my wheelhouse. What would be your strategy, Rob? Would you would you go like boot order starting with season one? I think would I, you... I would have to go in order. Like what I've learned with like trying to do the Taylor Swift 100 songs is like uh, the way my brain would go. I I would just have to go in order. I would just mm. go from start start from the beginning and then uh, and then go uh, through it. I think that makes sense. I and think then anybody that I couldn't think of, I would just pass. I think my strategy might be like final fours. Just go with the final fours. Whoa. And once you get to season 25, you're good. That's heavy. Okay. Oh, All right. that's Franny. interesting. That's a good strategy. Yeah, Sorry. what's new, <laughs> Franny? Um, well, what's new is this past weekend, uh, Matt's band, Sayonara Picnic, had their first like really big public performance. And yes. a couple of listeners came out and came and watched. It was really fun. Incredible. Yes. And how'd yeah. the show go? Oh, it was great. It was a beautiful day. They crushed it. They sounded wonderful. They're really happy. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, well, very happy to hear that. Okay. Franny, we are giving the trivia titans of the new era the opportunity to win $100 for the charity of their choice. Mm -hmm. um, if for whatever reason I should ever win again, then <laughs> your charity would get no money. But next week's yeah. trivia contender would have the opportunity to get two hundred dollars that'd be pretty big that'd be pretty big okay so last week i lost i've lost actually two weeks in a row to first to jake then to omer i'm looking to stop the slide here franny so yeah well who that's, are you playing that's why you for brought, this week that's why you brought me in gotta mm -hmm. dumb it down a little bit no back to no uh, I am bringing up the charity Point of Pride. Uh, it provides access to like medical care and health and wellness care for trans folks, especially trans youth. It's a great organization. Okay. Sounds like it. <laughs> for their sake. I hope you do great today. I know. Yes, I hope so. No pressure. No pressure. The, it was just trans the, visibility. Uh, state. Yes. Of, the the day, day after while we're recording. Mm -hmm. recording. I know. Yeah. I know. Okay. All right. So. Jordan Kalish is going to give us uh, some seasons, I believe. Yes, I will. I will give you the six seasons that I have uh, written questions about for this week. These are going to be about all the episode sixes in uh, Survivor history. So we are going to either uh, Heroes versus Villains. Season sixes in Survivor history? Is that what I heard? Uh, episode episode <laughs> sixes in Survivor history. Just I think seasons, about season season six. sixes in Survivor history, Rob, you might have a little bit of an mm -hmm. advantage there. So these are going to yeah. be episode okay. sixes in survivor history we have heroes villains south pacific blood versus water kagiyan worlds apart and season 41 whoa and yeah could you Franny, say those one more time jordan yes heroes versus villains south pacific blood versus water kagiyan worlds apart and season 41 uh franny as the guest you get to choose the first season i realize we have a lot of seasons here from the the 20s uh, mm -hmm. uh known as a uh if every um Top top heavy, uh, yes, uh, especially uh, blood versus survivor. water. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so Franny, um, that could you have put all the the logos in order? Could you have done that? Yeah. So I was watching that episode with Helen from my season, and we did pause the screen, uh, and uh, we did pretty well. We did pretty well. Okay. So uh, we okay, we, get, we did get what we switched two of them. But besides but, that, I do think 
under pressure, yeah. I would have been able to get it. Yeah, but Matt, good. no chance, right? Oh, there's no chance. Not even, uh, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even try. <laughs> I told him I was doing this, and he yeah. was like, good Guy luck. Our, uh, can't help you. Yeah, yeah. So I, not exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he no he will not be a a, a yeah. phone a friend option on this yeah. uh, on this quiz. Yeah. No, definitely. Do you think that not. there's one challenge they'll come up with that on the journey where he'd be able to keep his vote? Oh. Um, have they had one yet that you feel like that the, this would have been his challenge? Would have been his one. Um. Uh. Maybe the mental math actually. Okay. That mm. Emily Flippin did. I feel like yeah. he could he could rock. He's, he, that was a tough one. A He's a smart cookie. That was a tough one. Yeah. Um, that's probably name, his best name, bag, name that Sayonara, sorry, Sayonara picnic song. Name like yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Jeff okay. really wants to expose the band. Yeah. He loves music. He does. Big fan. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So Franny, Franny what, first. what season, what season are you going to first? You have the first choice. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go to... Okay, I kind of don't like that I have to choose first. Sorry. I'm going to go to... Uh, also, can I just ask you a question? I feel like people, um, when they're going through the... I feel like people are really quiet as they're thinking of their answers. Is it okay if I, like, talk it yes, through? Yes, sure. Yeah, talk it through. We love, yeah, okay. we love that. Okay, I'm like, my palms are kind of sweating. Um, okay, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with Kageon. Actually. Okay, Kageon, uh, one, of, one of my favorite seasons in Survivor history. At the yeah. merge vote in which LJ and Tony played idols for each other and Sarah was voted out uh, by a six to five vote, who did the minority put their five votes on? So Sarah received six. Who was the person who received five votes? Uh, and as always, you can answer without multiple choice for, for two points. Uh, or if you need the multiple choice, you would get one point for a correct answer. Uh, if you are incorrect, Rob will have the opportunity to steal a point. Okay. Um, I think I know this one, actually. I think it was Jeffra. Jeffra Bland. You did not need the multiple choice. And Franny, you're off to a yes. two-point start. Another str strong start by one of these uh, trivia titans of the new era. Franny has a two-point lead over Rob. Yes, Jeffra was the player who received five votes there. Yeah. Um, and it didn't didn't matter anyway that LJ and Tony uh, play, played the idols because they, they uh, switched the vote to Sarah. So uh, Franny, off to a strong start. Rob, where are we going next? I think I'm going to go with uh, Survivor 41. All right, 41. Uh, third week in a row that the New Era contestant has not chosen a New Era season to start the game, and Rob is able to get the one New Era question on this quiz. At the Season 41 Mergatory, two players drew gray rocks and therefore did not participate in the Team Immunity Challenge. One of these players was obviously Erica, who would later smash the hourglass. The other player was selected to be safe, or so they thought, by the winning team. Who was this player? This is Nasir. This is Nasir. That is correct, Rob. Two points. Uh, Nasir selected to be safe. Of course, with the hourglass, he would not be safe. Kind of BS, uh, but that's what happens. Uh, th this was this was also a, an episode of Survivor history where there was no tribal council and no one was voted out, which is also uh, kind of crazy. So uh, we're tied uh, two to two. You're both doing a great job. And it is now Franny's turn. You get to choose your season. Okay. I'm going to stick with later. I'm going to go with 30. All right. 30. You said 30, right? Worlds apart. Is that Worlds right? Apart. Okay. No, I just, I just wanted yeah. to make sure I heard you right. Okay. What so you I know the numbers. Said? I could have done. I, I could have done the. I could have. It, it sort of cut out. It sort of okay. cut out when she Got said it. it. Oh. I wasn't one hundred percent sure what she said, but I thought that's what she said. I, yeah, I yeah. heard. I heard the the D. Yeah. And I, and I, I, Randy, what I, would you be? You uh, no collar. <laughs> um, I mean, I work in research, so I'd probably be white. Collar. White collar. Okay. <laughs> probably. I don't know if I identify with that, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I yeah, think I'm not teacher. like. I'm not. I'm not like. Uh, not funky enough to be no color. Mm -hmm. You're not yeah. a Vince Sly. I'm not. That's. I don't sell coconuts for a living, right? Like mm -hmm. I can't. You know, it's we're just different. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're built different. <laughs> I, built I still different. don't know what a teacher is. I don't know if a teacher is blue collar or white collar. I feel like it's more blue collar than white collar. I feel like I'm, I'm out what you teach. I mean, Max Dawson was white collar. collar. That's true. He's a professor. Mm -hmm. That's different. That a, At the yeah, time, he was yeah. academia. Yeah. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. in academia. I I am uh, off often outside uh, coaching. Yeah. So I think his like, teacher is probably blue collar. I think it's blue collar. I think I associate more blue collar than You're white wearing collar. a blue collar. I'm literally well, it's not not a collar. I'm wearing an RHAP bell shirt. It's true. Very nice shirt. Very comfy. I'm wearing. Uh, I, mean, I think a t-shirt has a collar. 
I, yeah. Yeah. Isn't it neck collar? But then, then, yeah. then why is a collared shirt called a collared shirt if, re if regular shirts don't have collars? You think a lot of blue collar people are wearing collared shirts? I don't think a lot of blue collar people are having this conversation. Mm hmm. But uh, yeah, no, I don't think I don't think blue collar people. I don't think it it, it, it really associates. A, I, I, no, most I think most blue collar jobs you're not wearing a collar. I often wear a collared golf shirt when I'm teaching PE to look a look a little fancy. Yeah, but what do you call what do you call it like a button down shirt more than a, a collar button shirt? down? But it's not always a button down shirt. Sometimes it's like a polo. Well, that's a polo. Oh, that's true. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. But a polo is a collar. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, all right. All right. we're <laughs> yeah, losing. Sorry. We're losing. <laughs> the listeners. I think I people like in. the fashion talk. People <laughs> yeah. want to hear. Uh, Jordan been waiting for those. Quite sure they don't. Choices. Well, I'll, I'll see in the comments. We'll see. We'll see. I, th I think I have a feeling mm -hmm. people will like this. We'll, we'll they'll enjoy it. Anyway, Survivor Worlds Apart season 30, the Dirty 30. Which yeah. former blue collar tribe mate did Mike Holloway and Rodney protect by throwing the last pre-merge immunity challenge? Oh God. Okay. So this is post swap, uh, pre, uh, pre merge. And they threw a and challenge. Who protected them? This who was, protected uh, them? this was Mike Holloway and Rodney through the challenge in order to protect a player on the, on the other tribe. Okay. Was it Rodney's birthday? Um, yes or no, probably not. It um, was, I, I don't believe this was, this was Rodney's birthday. <laughs> okay. So who is blue collar? Um, Sierra, Don Thomas. I'm not answering. I'm just, I'm, yeah, um, I'm of. the, the lady with the two different colors of hair she was she chatted she's she had a lot to say um there was the woman with the blonde hair um she had less to say <laughs> <laughs> uh hang on i kind of feel i'm kind of like uh, who, who would have been the other man oh that guy that guy with the beard is that one of the people that you said? No, no, no. The guy with the beard, really crinkly. I, crinkly. I haven't said anything yet. I haven't given. You can get the multiple choice if you want, but I have not said anything yet. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna go with. Um. Ah. Oh, I feel like I don't remember her name. Um. Crap. I'm gonna go for the multiple choice. Okay. The multiple choice. Uh, so this is gonna be for one point if you get the answer right. Uh, we yeah. have A. Dan Foley, B. Joaquin Soberbier. C Kelly Re Kelly Remington or D Sierra Dawn Thomas. Can I um clarify? Did you say that they were like original blue collar? They were original blue collar. Okay, so it's not Joaquin. Um, and then one more time, Kelly Kelly Remington, Sierra Dawn Thomas, and um Beard. Dan Foley. What's his name? Dan Foley. Um. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go Kelly Remington. Kelly Remington. Great ally of Mike and Roddy, and the correct answer to the question, Franny. <laughs> she did not you have that that you point. That. Yeah, she didn't have can much I to say? say. I will say, very, yeah. very nice in person. She's been to some of these, uh, oh, I didn't these, know that. events before. Yeah, she's yeah. been to like when when Andrea Belke used to host events. She would she would come, and she was always hanging out with Mike Holloway. So I guess it, uh, guess the alliance persisted. Yes. Didn't like, did she bonk her head? Didn't she bonk yeah, her yeah, head? Yeah, yeah. In a blindfold yeah. challenge, they in dropped his, like in a this, blocks yeah, 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 yeah. on her This head. challenge that was was thrown, she she uh, yeah. hit her head. I, I was the same challenge. I was envisioning her. I knew the head bonk, but the name escaped me. Yeah. So, okay. Great. I don't. I Jordan. I I gotta fact check you on that. I do not believe that it was the the blindfold challenge that they threw. They threw the challenge where it was. That they, they were doing they that were, oh, that's right. They were really bad at the blindfold challenge because they kept pulling up the thing. Mm -hmm. I think it might have might was that was the blindfold challenge or reward? Was it the same episode? Might have been the same episode. I'm not sure. Don't but know. They, about definitely, that. they definitely they definitely threw the challenge to uh, mm -hmm. to save uh, Kelly, and it worked. Uh, okay. So now, Rob, you get to choose your season. It is uh, Franny's up three to two. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, blood versus water. Okay, blood water. Uh, I feel like we've gone to blood water a lot this season. I'm going mm -hmm. there again. It's kind of becoming yeah. the, the new Guatemala, uh, not including Laura Moret, who ended up re-entering the game from Redemption Island. Which player became the first member of the original Galang tribe, AKA the favorites to get voted out at an actual tribal council. Okay. Um, um, From first member to get voted out in an actual yes, yeah, so they had to be at tribal council. Mm. Okay, but we're not counting Laura Moret for some reason because she re-entered the game. 
This mm-hmm. is so the, the, fir- the person who I guess had the worst overall placement on Galang, who uh, got voted out of the tribal council. <sighs> also, Laura Moret was not voted out in episode six. So, mm-hmm. okay. Um, I am tr- uh, a little bit uh, torn between two people. And I uh, honestly, I don't remember uh, which person went first, uh, but I'm going to go with uh, Laura Boneham. Laura Boneham is incorrect. So Franny, you have a chance to steal a point here. So you said this is from this is from the like the returning player tribe. Not their family members. This is yes. This is the, uh, the the people who had played Survivor before. Okay. Um. Is it is it Cat? Cat Ederson for one point is correct. Franny Woo! steals the point. She is up four to two. That is correct. Cat uh, that went tough. for Laura Boneham. I think Rob, there might have been people killing me in the comments if Laura Boneham had been the right answer because she technically started on the other she's tribe on the other and tribe. then got switched. But she, but Cat, but this is not a technicality. Cat did get voted out before Laura. So even mm-hmm. if I think you could sort of consider Laura original Galang, she because she never really played on the on uh, on the other tribe. Um, but uh, that it was not the correct answer anyway. So uh, Franny, you have a four to two lead and. It is your turn to choose the question. Okay. Um, it's Heroes versus Villains in South Pacific left? Correct. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Heroes versus Villains. Yes. Heroes versus Villains. When Tyson was voted out by the Villains tribe, which other two players had their names written down at Tribal? Um, uh, I think one was Parvati. And the other, who was on that tribe? Um, okay, so Tyson, Harvey, um, Russell was there. Rob was there. Sandra is there. Courtney. Ooh. Um. Is it? Uh, uh, is it Russell himself? Parvati and Russell. Is that your final answer? Um, well, you asking that makes me wonder if it shouldn't be. Um, uh, yeah. I know, I know you were talking things out before. I didn't know if you were talking it out or if that was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that was a great question. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, so I, I remember that Tyson kind of fudged that, didn't he? Um, yeah, I think it was Russell. I think it was Russell and Parvati. Russell and Parvati for the win. If you are, if you get this right is correct. Franny. You oh. have put yourself in a position where Rob is mathematically eliminated. Uh, oh, yeah, wow. Russell and Parvati, and I of course had written down because the uh, the the uh, the Parvati votes uh, did not count. Uh, so yeah, that is absolutely correct. Uh, Tyson, Russell, and Parvati were the three players who received votes at the tribal. Rob, for third week in a row, you're donating know, money I mean, to a worthy charity. Um, Yes. Okay. Well, that's the the only good news. Um. What What was the, the South Pacific question? Uh, South Pacific uh, South Pacific. Congratulations, Pacific. Franny. Wow, Franny, Thank with the you. win. You, you said you were nervous, but there was nothing to be nervous about. Uh, I'm sorry, I was we, really nervous. <laughs> this is the South Pacific question. The Upolu Majority Alliance disagreed on who should be voted out of the tribal in which Michaela eventually got the boot. Sophie and Albert didn't vote in the majority with coach at this tribal. Instead, voting for which player? Oh God. Um, Edna, Edna Ma is, is, is yeah, true? correct. Yeah. Four, four yeah. to three Two votes weeks in a row. Blood versus water <laughs> was my, uh, bugaboo. I have to apologize to Tyson. Yeah. But great job, Franny. Great <laughs> job, Rob. Uh, mm-hmm. being so generous, uh, with, with your, uh, with your donations. Uh, and may- maybe at some point you'll, you'll, you'll win another week. Uh, but uh, I, I think right now uh, Juan Soto has a better batting average than, than your winning average on, on Twitch. Uh, okay. Here well, maybe is. Maybe you'll win. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, look, by the time this comes out, you, you, never, you never know. It's, it'll be like three games from now. He could be injured. He's, he's on the Yankees. I, I wouldn't put it past him. All right. Mm-hmm. Here is the uh, the verbal rebus. The verbal rebus is back. I, I felt bad Omer did not get one last week. Uh, but we have the verbal rebus. The little letter on Boston Rob's hat. 
Okay. Plus the first boot of Rob's first season, Rob Sesternino's first season. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, plus the brother of Survivor 42's 17th placer. Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys both know that one. Uh, plus Survivor Exile Islands astronaut. And that's it. That's all That's all we have. Okay. Uh, Franny, do you know it? Let me cook for a second here. I know Rob knows it. Rob is... is I is got a, it. Is, has a 100% batting average on uh, verbal rebuses. Never missed Damn, one yet, guys. sadly. I got to say, I got to say, I listened to all the previous ones and I had 100% batting average on all the previous verbal rebuses. I was very excited about them. Okay. Um, I'm not, I'm blanking on who got first from Rob's season. It was, uh, but uh, you tell me, go ahead. Yeah, well, okay. B on Ross and Rob's hat, Ryan, yeah, 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 yeah. Ryan Aiken, uh, oh. then oh. Zach Wharton Ryan... is Corey. And then Astronaut Dan, Brian Corridan from Jordan's beloved Guatemala. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't do a Guatemala question on on this quiz because I did have a a, a no fly list for some of some of the seasons here just to make sure that that everything was fair. But Brian Corridan is the correct answer. Why would Uh, why would a Guatemala question not be fair? Rob, I've not seen Guatemala. Uh, but now that I know, now that I know out. that Jordan Kalish loves it, maybe I'll go watch it. You should. It's a great. It's a great season. Um, it's it's really a good season. It's but fine. I, it's it's fine. underrated. Yeah, it's fine. My, it's my point is, is it's underrated. Great is not a word I've heard to describe. No, that. it's not. Yeah. It's not great. But every season of Survivor mostly is great. So I I, I think yeah. in, in compared to other Survivor seasons, it's good. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. that's my ringing endorsement. But it's good. It's it's fun. Um. So <laughs> the season of Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Rob, where where can we uh where, where can we catch you? Where where can we find you? Well, you're you, you always have, my yeah, plugs. You always ask, you always ask, yeah. What are your plugs? You always well, ask me that. Jordan, you know I'm gonna be doing a uh, podcasting away over oh, on uh, Rob has a podcast. I'm gonna talk to Stephen Fishback about the episode, and then of course, uh, just you know, Deal or No Deal Island. Well, wow. that's uh, that sounds like a lot of uh, a lot of interesting content that you're putting out there, Rob. You know, Rob's a uh, a podcaster. He has his own own podcasting network. It's great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, Franny, what about you? Well, you know, I'm no, I'm I'm no, you know, little small guy like Rob. I got a pretty big podcast empire on my hands, which is the Surviving the Dice D and D podcast um, that I'll plug, which is super super fun. Um, just today, well, today that we're filming, we released an episode with Gabby Pascuzzi that was Ooh. so fun. Um, and we've got some really great guests coming up as well, so stay tuned for that. And then, yeah, you can find me on socials, and it's at Hail the Veil. It's my handle on everything. Sounds good. That's all I have to that say about You got that. anything else now, Jordan? I mean, I should I do mine? <laughs> uh, go ahead. Yeah, at, you, where you, can you we find over. you? Yeah. At at Jordan Kalis on, on Twitter. It's uh where where you can find me. I'm always uh tweeting about well, now it's more Yankees than anything else. You're probably you're probably muted me at, at this point if you're mm-hmm. not a baseball fan. Uh but yeah, follow me at, at Jordan Kalis, uh so Survivor New York viewing parties uh every week in the city. If you're in town, feel free to 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 reach out and I'll tell you where it is. Um, yeah, good. Great week on Twitch. We did it. We did it, Rob. We did it. All right. Thank and you, Franny, Jordan. Congratulations. Great, great job, Franny. Thank congratulations. Uh, that uh, Let's shout out your charity one more time. Yeah, that is Point of Pride. $100. Okay. $100 to Point of Pride. Uh, great job by you, Franny. Thank you so much for coming back on. Thanks, everybody, for joining us and listening. If you're watching the video version of this, i uh, love to hear what you have to say in the comments. We appreciate your likes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel or the podcast feed. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.